Okay guys, so before we get to my intro, before we do anything else in this video, I felt like I needed to shoot just a little disclaimer. I'm in no way a professional. I hardly know any professionals. I wish I had more friends that were. My husband does dabble in tattoos. Most of my tattoos were done by him. You know, they may not be super amazing, but I love them. Um, that's besides the point of this video. So this video is going to be just me stretching up my last four millimeters to an inch. I am at an inch here, but I kind of wanted to, you know, show you how I did it, uh, how easy it was for me. I do want to say, if you do this, this was just me and my personal experience and sharing it with you. I've been going up a millimeter at a time. I'm not sure how often in the video I went up. Um, I would have to look at it again and I don't feel like it right now. But for one, go up a millimeter every, I want to say it's every three months or something like that, that they recommend. Um, if you're not sure about my, my information that I'm giving you right now, go ahead and talk to a professional piercer, get in contact with one. You know, even if you've got to do it through social media or whatever, but take their advice, don't take mine. This is just me showing you how easy it was for me to get from my 21s to my now, you know, 25s here. You can see that's the progress that we made throughout this video. Um, other than that, always use your jojoba, your emu oil, your vitamin E oil, things like that for your stretching. Take care of your ears, please. Don't be stupid. Don't go shoving things that you shouldn't be shoving in there that aren't recommended. Just be safe. Like I said, this is all just, you know, my opinions, my experience, my own thing for you guys, all right? This is not for you to do exactly as I do. Don't monkey see, monkey do, or come and tell me later, hey, well, you stretched up every eight days, or you stretched up four days later, or ten days, or however many days. Hey, you didn't wait three months, or you didn't wait two months. No, I didn't. I didn't do that because my ears do tend to stretch really quickly, particularly with these because they have a weight to them. Anyways, I'm rambling now, so that's it. Let's get to the video, all right? Hey guys, it's Jess again. This video is probably going to be shot over a period of a month, uh, maybe less. It all depends. Um, but I had a question on Instagram. Somebody DM'd me. They wanted to know about these plugs that I wear, these, these glass ones. Uh, I had posted a picture on there about them. They are the single flare glass plugs from Arctic Buffalo. Well, okay, so basically I really like them. They go up to an inch. They start at 12 gauge, which is 1.6 millimeters. One inch is 25 millimeters. Okay, so somebody asked me how easy, sorry, how easy is it really to stretch up with them and I told them it, it really is easy and they were like well you know they had tried um, PTFE tape and they had tried tapers and the tapers just weren't going through their ears and stuff like that so I decided you know what let me go ahead and make a video and show y'all so this is what they look like in the ear this one that I currently have on is 21 millimeters so my next step see I have the 22 the 23, I have the 24, and the 25s. So, this is all I have left. I have four more millimeters to go up to be at an inch. So, I'm going to show you all today real quick. Me. He's singing the song of his people. You like how he sings? Such a beautiful voice. <laughs> Bastion! This is the big guy. He didn't like to be carried. <laughs> Bastion! What's the matter? Bastion. You're okay. So yeah, this is the big guy that was singing the song of his people. Just thought y'all would like to see who was singing to y'all. <laughs> I wish I could show y'all his eyes, but I know he won't let me. His eyes are actually kind of crossed. So. Okay. Anyways. So I'm just going to pop this one out and I'll just show you real quick. It's in there like that. 
I had my, I had oiled my ears this morning, you know, when I washed them out and everything when I got up. Uh, I got asked that too. Don't they stink? I, I think anyone with plugs gets asked, don't your plugs stink? I just sniffed it. <laughs> right up on my nose. Mine usually don't stink. I wash them in the morning when I get up or at the very least I'll take them out and I'll wash the plug and I'll kind of wipe my ear down with some soap but I won't always necessarily wash it or even with a baby wipe and then I'll put them in for the I'll put the jojoba oil and then I'll put them in for the day at night when I wash my face soap that I use to wash my face I use that same one to do my ears at night and same thing I'll put the oil I'll put them in I go to bed all right so here's the 21 Here's the 22. All right, let me switch real quick. It might look better the other way. Okay, so 21. This is the 22 millimeter. So this one's like just a little bit over three-fourths of an inch, and then this is another little meter, millimeter up. So you can see. Hopefully you can see the size difference. So my ear is clean. Like I said, I, I had clean them this morning. They don't stink, but I always get this. I'll put a little bit, just like that. I'll rub my finger, and guys, I don't care what anybody says. That's Tiffany back there. Yeah, we have a lot of pets in this house. Anyways, rubbing your earlobes. I wish I had somebody. I wish I could pay somebody to do this because it just feels so good. <laughs> All right, so. Here's the 22. Like I said, here's the 21 over here, 22. So y'all can know that that's the one I have. All right, let me get a little closer. All right, so here's my ear. I'm gonna try to get it so you can see as much as possible. See the back, it just goes in. It's it's really not complicated, It's it's in. I mean, I don't feel pain. I don't even feel like um, like a burning, nothing. I, I just put the, that's the back, I just put the O-ring back on. I mean, it's that simple to stretch with these guys. It's, it's not a hassle, it doesn't hurt. If you are looking to size up and you're having trouble with tapers or anything like that, just, I mean, give these a try, guys. I mean. They start at $2, I give you a 20% off code, you know, I bought, I think I bought 10 pairs of these total because when I started, I started using these at 5 8 and I'm trying to get to an inch now. And I'm going to size up, like I said, every week, maybe a little more often. Uh, really, it's all about your body, you know, if I start to feel stinging. If they start to feel uncomfortable, itchy, I'll size down. I'll let y'all know too. I'll record it that I size down. But that's it. So here's the other 22. Here's my 21. Do our whole oil again. Clean it out. Not clean it out, sorry, massage. Yes, it feels so good. <laughs> mm, okay, anyways, so. And that's because this ear. My left ear tends to be the one that gives me trouble. It tends to be the one, for me, that feels a little thicker. It might look thinner than this one, but it also, it's weird, like, okay, I don't know if you can see, this one will sit real nice, and this one, I don't know if you can see it right now, maybe later, or maybe you noticed earlier, but it, the plug likes to sit back, like, like it leans back instead of sitting nicely and proper like this one. I don't know. But this one, this is my my slutty ear. Like, I could probably go up like to the 25 right now and it wouldn't have a problem with it. But this one would kill me. Like, it would get red. It'd probably get infected. Like, this, is, this ear right here is a whole reason that I went ahead and bought these. And like I said, because they're really affordable. They start at two bucks. Um, they, they're from two to four dollars I bought ten pairs and like I said with my 20% off code that's a big chunk of change guys uh, shipping's free at thirty dollars I mean you can't go wrong so if, if you are planning to size up 
like I said, and you're having trouble with all those other methods, I would definitely go ahead and, and try these guys out. Like I said, they start at a 12 gauge and 1.6 millimeters and they go all the way to an inch, 25 millimeters. So uh, this is today, just so you know, I'll show you the dates and everything on my phone. I'll try to remember. So you guys can know the day that I am going up and how many days in between each stretch I waited. Uh, like I said, they are millimeter stretches. So, I mean, I shouldn't have to wait too long, but we'll go ahead and see. All right, be back later when it's time to stretch up to my 23s, guys. Okay, I'm back, and the time right now is 1 a.m. September 26, 2016. I'm going to go ahead and go from my 22 millimeter to my 23s. So there's supposed to be a one millimeter difference. I realize that for some, I guess the flares, they just, they make the flares bigger. Real quick though, before I size up, I hadn't had a problem losing the O-rings or anything really like that till I got to this 22 millimeter. So do be careful. Um, you know, maybe if you're going up to the larger sizes, you might want to order extra O-rings just in case. I've been lucky enough to find them right away after I, you know, they pop off or I lose them or whatever while I'm asleep. Um, also, I wanted to show you, it's not a big deal. Uh, if you get them like this, I don't know if you can tell, these are the 22s, how the backs of them are like shaped really differently. Um, it didn't affect anything, it's just something I wanted to show you. You might see, you know, variations. I wouldn't call these cheap glass. I saw somebody comment that on one of the posts for Arctic Buffalo. Oh, you know, so they're cheap glass. I wouldn't necessarily say they're cheap glass. If they were cheap glass, I feel like they would irritate the ear. They definitely wouldn't be safe for stretching. Uh, they wouldn't be as smooth. That's just, you know, my opinion on them. So far, they've been really comfortable. So, yeah, I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. I had, like I said, I hadn't lost the O-rings before I got to the 22s, so now we're going to go to the 23 millimeters, which are 29 and I don't even know how you would say that, 29 32s of an inch? I don't know. Whatever, guys. Alright, so I got my jojoba oil here. This video is probably going to get repetitive, but I just, I'm making it for the sake of those people that are interested in sizing up, you know, at least up to an inch. And don't want to mess with tapers, don't want to risk having it blow out. You know, want to be a little bit safer, do this a little easier, a lot less painlessly. So, moving up. <laughs> that sounds like gross, moving up. Um, I'm massaging the oil into my ears right now. I just washed them. It's late. It's like you saw, it's one in the morning. I'm tired. But I just washed my face and my ears with my simple brand cleanser. And my 22s were getting really loose already. So... I haven't had any irritation or whatever. I did have some 22 millimeter acrylic plugs in, and those did kind of hinder me sizing up earlier than when I'm sizing up. Uh, just because I wore them for like two days. You know, normally I wear acrylic for like a day because I'm more than that, and I, my ears can't handle it. Even if I wash them out, it doesn't matter. But I, I left them in for a couple days. They're the only 22s I had. So, okay. Here's the back of my ear. Alright, there's no blowout, nothing like before. And just goes right in. No pain. Nothing, guys. Because I'm telling you, these things are like really, really beneficial to anybody trying to size up. Anybody who's trying to be careful, all ring went on. Alright. Now I wash these too before I put them in. Anything you get, be it from a friend or which really you shouldn't share, especially like acrylic or organic things with friends, but it's glass, it's not going to absorb anything. But either way, uh, I did buy these. Remember that. Um, but anything you take out of the packaging, you don't know how long it's been sitting there. You know, you just want to make sure you wash it. There's the hole. Here's the back again. Hopefully you can... Oy, I'm trying to see my screen. Hopefully you can see that. Not pushing very hard. Went right in. It's that easy, guys. So we got two more sizes to go. 24, 25, and we'll be at my goal. I don't think I'm going to go any bigger than that. So, alright. See you. But for you guys, I'll see you in a second. But for me, I'll see you in like a couple weeks. Or who knows, a couple days. Depends on my ears. So, good night for right now. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Okay, so I'm back. Um, 
I shot a previous video and I said it before, but don't mind my my junk over here. <laughs> I have another video I've been meaning to shoot and that stuff is for that. Um, anyways, so it is Monday, October 3rd. Yeah, October 3rd. It is 4.21 p.m. I'm not quite sure how many days it's been between my stretch, but I did just wash my ears out. I put them back in just for the sake of aesthetics right now. <laughs> Um, but I'm taking them out. These are my, my 23s. Uh, I don't remember what that is in millimeters, but I'm about to go up to, sorry, in inches. But I'm about to go up to 24 millimeters, which is, uh, 15 sixteenths of an inch. I've got them right here. Um, I'm gonna go wash these off real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. My 24s were washed. And I'm gonna put the jojoba oil. Like I said before, I realize this video is gonna get kind of repetitive. So I'm just gonna try to speed through a lot of it. Uh, even during the editing, I'll just speed a lot of it through. Um, putting on my jojoba oil. I did lose, <laughs> I actually lost an O-ring. I'm super mad at myself. Like I, in the history of O-rings, I rarely ever lose an O-ring, but I did, I lost one. So I would recommend if you get these, from Arctic Buffalo. Again, I have to mention my code, just RE20. I'll leave it down below. Um, you get the 20% off, whatever. Uh, if Even if it's a few cents, you know, I think I think extra O-rings are like a dollar or something like that. Um, just just get extras. You're gonna end up needing them. Just, just do it, do it, okay? Extra O-rings. Makes life easier. All right, so here we go. This is 24. Didn't feel a thing. Same as before. I realize this video isn't as dramatic as some people on here that I've seen stretch. That is for the fact that I'm do trying to do this the right way or uh, an, a healthier way, I, an easier way. I mean, most people are doing tapers and they're going up like two millimeters, three millimeters at a time, guys. Don't do that, all right? These things are out there for a reason. Arctic Buffalo didn't make these so you could not use them, obviously. Obviously they're a business, they did it to make money. <laughs> but it's worth it. I mean, they started $2 and at $4. I've said that multiple times. They're well worth it. There you go. These are my 24s. These were my 23s before. Not sure if you can see the difference, but there you go. So one more size and we'll be at one inch and that'll be it for this video. So. That's it for right now. I'll see you next time when I get to the 25. Alright guys, it's me. I'm here again. It hasn't even been 10 days like it usually is between stretches. I just, I'm about to go somewhere and I really want to wear something other than my plugs. So I'm gonna just stretch up the last millimeter. I'm gonna sit here for a while with them on, whatever, a uh, few hours. And then I'm gonna find something without a flare that's the same, you know, size same millimeter so I can slip that in and wear that out um, right now it is 814 right there p.m. October 8th 2016 all right so let's go ahead and do that Okay, I just got out the shower, I don't know if I said that, <laughs> but I just got out the shower so my skin is real, you know, nice and soft and elastic. These are my 24s, I'm gonna go from my 24s to my 25s, not sure. Maybe you can see a difference there, I know I saw one of the clips where they didn't look too different, but I'm pretty sure they were because I didn't have trouble going from one size to the next to the next and so on and so forth. So, hopefully you guys are seeing, this is the last one. No? Wow. That was, that was really fast. Okay, also, I was a little bit hesitant to do this to get up to 25. Um, in the last video, it looked like this ear. I don't know why, but for some reason it looked as if it had had a, a blowout a little bit, like it had a little bit of a lip. So I was looking at it and everything, and as far as I can tell, I don't have a blowout. I don't have nothing. Like, I actually, I watched the video on the camera. 
And then I went, and I when I saw that, it looked like it had like a little bit of a blowout. I went. And I ran to the bathroom, and I went to look. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to size down, and this is going to, you know, how do I put that? I guess impede, I think is the word I'm looking for, my progress, you know? And hopefully you guys can see there. I mean, if you, if you noticed it last time, what it was was I did it real quick. And then I just, I remember I, I went like this or something, and I was talking to you guys, and I could see back here, it looked like it had an extra piece of, like, skin coming out. And I freaked out, and by the time I went to the bathroom, though, there was nothing. I didn't have nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe the camera was just screwing with me or something, but the ear's fine. Look at this. I'm at 25. We've officially reached our goal size. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through, you know, all my plugs. I don't think I'm gonna wear these it's silicone, it's a fresh stretch. Um, I don't even I don't even have any of my good plugs down here to show you guys, but I'm gonna go find something that doesn't have a flare. Because I know I bought a ton of stuff. I did the unboxing for you guys last time, so you pretty much know what I have, and I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna wear that out. I'm just, at this point, I'm kind of tired of having these in. Not because they look bad or anything, these are actually really, really pretty for being as plain as they are, but they do have a good weight to them, and that's the reason why this ear does what it does where it goes back, because I actually had put a lighter one in when I was at 22, but this ear's always done this. Like, this one presents itself real pretty and fancy, and it's, like, forward, and then this one's, like, let me see if I can leave the camera straight so you can see it. Okay, hopefully, hopefully you can kind of see it there. But this one kind of leans back and this one's like, you know, perfect and fine and great. And this one's like a lazy bum, potato, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I just really want to get something lighter in there because when I do have something lighter, it does tend to like sit right, the, the, you know, it sits the same way this one does. So that's kind of why I want to do that. I kind of want to get the weight off my ear. Um, that's not a complaint for these. That actually really helps the stretch to progress a little bit faster than it normally would if you had something lighter but I guess it's preference so I mean but that's it guys that's it for this video we reached our goal bye oh and again I'm not a professional remember that uh, you should be going up a millimeter every month um, you know just pay attention to professionals this is just how I did it this was my own personal little thing for me and for myself um, to share with you guys it wasn't a lot it wasn't dramatic it wasn't crazy but I just wanted to shoot it so here it is all right guys bye <laughs>